Sup y'all, welcome back to another video by me, Dina. OG K-Pop since 1998. I'm jumping right back into my red velvet journey, which brings me to Rookie. And this one is super special without even me already seeing it, just because of the fact that I have a dance practice for this. I know that red velvet doesn't have a lot of dance practices uh, for us to see, just because I guess they didn't do it back in the day or upload it. And um, y'all know I can't react to live performances here. I'll get, <sighs> my channel will be done. So uh, yeah, I'm happy that Rookie has a dance practice for me to check out so I can just give Red Velvet that much more props. So let me go ahead and stop talking and get right with the music video first for Red Velvet's Rookie. Quick pause. If y'all been enjoying the things that I've been doing here on my YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button. That gives me a good idea on what y'all like and what y'all kind of like. Feel free to also subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay super updated with some new things. I also now have a Patreon as well where I make reactions and reviews to live performances, shows, and whatnot upon y'all's requests on there. The link to my Patreon is in my description box below. Hi, right, let's get it. Them with their aesthetics. Oh, no. It's not like a walking pinata. Oh. Produced by the colleagues. Take one. Them with their quirkiness. Yeah. Oh. oh. I like this little attitude that's carrying her voice. Harmony. Okay, this is so definitely more Alice in Wonderland. -y. Okay, that looky looky thing is addicting. Okay, I love this song. This is so different from. guitar parts that you hear in the background. Nice. The skirts. Love it. Oh, I like that. I like that. Boom, 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 boom. That you hear in the background. Woo, harmony. More. Sold. I am so sold. Okay, she's so gorgeous. Oh. oh my gosh, their voices. Oh. Ooh, I'm hearing more instruments. Oh, this is so fun and quirky. I absolutely love it. <laughs> okay. And I love this whole stage thing at the end, the whole like, oh man, it's even more. It's, okay, this is, this, what a fun, quirky, and funky vibe. Watch, they just do the encore at the end with the walking piñata. Okay. Okay, I had to watch all the way to the end. I, man, this song completely, I'm so sold. I love the whole 
attitude that they have in their voices. It started right off the bat. I felt myself feeling like, holy crap, how much more versatility is Red Velvet gonna show me? Because first thing I ever saw was Psycho. Then I went into Bad Boy. Then I started watching their videos in chronological order. They have really shown me so much. And I mean, so much for me to even already know that why Red Velvet is so iconic and the fact that I've been hell sleeping on the last five years. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and move right into the dance practice. I want to see the meticulous parts of this really quirky song. And we're live. Produced by the colleagues. Take one. Ooh! I really appreciate that they use the wide angle or the fisheye lens to kind of give it that whole distorted look. Oh, I love this. Ooh, I really appreciate the little details like how she just spin on that guitar that you hear. It's a great way to like introduce her into the next part. Yes, okay, Togi. Wow, this is such quick choreography. See, this part of the song does that, you hear that dun 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 or whatever that, I, I'm doing a really bad imitation of it, but it's like how I talked about in the beginning, you hear a guitar and then all of a sudden this other part comes. It's like different layers and then I like how they're moving along with it. Okay, let, let's go back 10 seconds. And all of their moves are so quick and sharp. Nice. Wow. I, I, I appreciate the little details that are being added into this. Hold on, I, th I think I saw something. The shoulders right here. See, that gives that little character that I was talking about how this song exudes. Nice. Ooh, that was really sharp. Okay. Oh gosh, that little jump rope thing, that's very fitting. See, I'll notice how they keep the character in their movement. Woo. Nice, she hits them out, they all go through the middle like that. Nice, okay. She brought them in. I like the formation changes too. It's very subtle. See, you know how I talk about this part, the choreography, when it changes for this part, it matches the tone of it. Cause it kind of sounds like a semi cool down before into the chorus. So, and you know, the, throughout the whole verses, there are like a lot of sharp, quick movements and they're moving around a lot. And right before they get to this part, before like the pre-chorus, they like, kind of cool it down and then get right into more energy. I just like that balance. Let's go back 10 seconds. Ooh, sass. Nice. I like this uh, formation. They kind of like boxing her in. She, when she did that, they went down. Cohesive. I love that. Look at you looking. Ooh, that is great. I love how they lined up and then they went to the diagonal while still just freaking killing it with the choreography. Like all their hits are so sharp and all of their details are all there. Okay, I want to see that line to diagonal again. Quick. Nice. Ooh, I really... Okay, see what I'm talking about? The choreography matching the change up of the song? Another part right here. 
I really like that lawn mowing looking move. Like, whatever you want to call that. That. See, that, that, it, it's like tricky musicality. Woo! Sugi, you are a queen. Nice, her angles are so there. Nice! To go with the musicality. Cute! See, they're keeping the character throughout this whole song. Ooh. Okay. Look at that sass. Nice. That little level change. Nice sharp ending. They made sure to the to seal that choreography dance practice off nicely. I love how the girls kept the character and kept their energy throughout the whole dance practice. Because <laughs> watching the choreography alone, it looks pretty tiresome. But they made sure to keep their their talent there. I guess this is my first real real look into Red Velvet's dance practice. I've watched live performances, but you know. Uh, camera angles if you're not watching like a straight on shot you can't really see the choreography and especially if they're singing live then uh all, some of their energy is used for the live so you can't really see the detail for it in full so red velvet they are very very sharp hitting very sharp hitting dancers and very professional with keeping the cleanliness and just moving very well with each other this song I feel like this is probably one of the top Red Velvet songs that have completely caught me on. This is a really good song. Very funky song. Really right up my alley there with the whole quirkiness and difference. Alright guys, well thank you all so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope you all have a great day and until the next one coming up, peace.